Yeah, you can see these flowers here behind me. Dozens of people showing up tonight to this North Salt Lake Park. The family at Izzy Tishner says the last year has been rough, but tonight it was all about love and showing why Izzy's life still matters. An evening filled with song, dance, prayer, and a family still grieving. Community members and people touched by the story of Izzy Tishner, a 10 year old girl whose life was taken too soon, gathering at Foxborough Hollow Park. Izzy's mother, Brittany, sharing memories of her daughter, including one of the very last things Izzy said to her. And she was like, Mom, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being the mom. Izzy's grandmother expressing what she misses the most about her. <laughs> Just Community members explain the importance of making sure children of color feel heard and supported at home and at school. A message that Ray Duckworth of Black Lives Matter says is crucial. Standing for Izzy is going to be a very monumental thing, especially for children of color in Utah. It's also a message parents like Jakari Kelly of Black Folks Utah says it's an issue her child also experienced at school. But hearing about Izzy was devastating that a child actually resorted to suicide because the school wasn't providing what they were supposed to. Last week, Izzy's family announced their plans to file a $14 million lawsuit against her school, claiming it didn't properly respond to reports that she was being bullied. While Izzy's story is one that has caught local and national attention, it's also one that this community wants to make sure doesn't happen again. We need to have this on our hearts every single day.